I'm Sam. Welcome to Brickwall Pictures. Today I'm reviewing the debut graphic novel of S. Craig Zoller, Forbidden Surgeries of the Hideous Dr. Davinus. That is the correct pronunciation, by the way, Davinus. I found an audio clip of Zoller saying the title, just to make sure. I'm a massive fan of S. Craig Zoller, as evidenced by the copious videos I have made on his works. I've reviewed his novels Wraiths of the Broken Land, Corpus Chrome Inc., and Mean Business on North Ganson Street. And I've also made videos about all of his films. If you're a Zoller fan too, check those videos out. The links for them are in the description. And if you'd like a taste of my own writing, you can pick yourself up a copy of my debut novel, The Fall of Polite. Links are in the description for this as well. S. Craig Zoller's writing had a definite influence on the book, and I even thanked him in the acknowledgments at the end. So of course I was excited for Forbidden Surgeries of the Hideous Doctor to Venus. S. Craig Zoller not just wrote, but also illustrated this graphic novel as well. He's been extremely humble about the artwork and in interviews, but the whole feat is impressive as hell. Forbidden Surgeries of the Hideous Doctor to Venus is another great title, and it has another enticing premise and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. This is actually not the only new S. Craig Zoller piece that has seen the light of day so far this year. There is also The Slanted Gutter, a new crime novel. I plan on reviewing that one as well. It's in the mail as I speak. For full disclosure, I do not have anywhere near the same level of experience with comics and graphic novels that I do with films. I've read a couple Punisher stories, some Sin City books, and some other Frank Miller stuff, and those Django graphic novels that Tarantino put out, but that's about as far as my experience with this particular medium goes. I always enjoy them when I do read, it's just something I haven't made a lot of time for in my life to this point. So I'm approaching this as more of a fan of Zoller's writing than of comics as a medium. The black and white art style is somewhat simplistic, but makes for plenty of striking visuals. Certain panels are a bit workmanlike, while others are moody and stylish and dip into some noir territory. The visual style is a great fit for the story being told, which combines elements of hard-boiled crime fiction with body horror to wonderful effect. Fans of the whip-smart, stylistic dialogue of mean business on North Ganson Street and Dragged Across Concrete are sure to especially enjoy the dialogue of Dr. Davinus. The two brother protagonists of the story, Leo and Tommy Driscoll, one a grizzled detective and the other a slick gangster, offer both hard-edged lines and humorous quips in equal measure. Dr. Davinus is dark and twisted, but it's also genuinely funny all throughout as much of Zoller's writing is. The section of the read with Sidney Baumgarten is especially hilarious, even more so when imagining the lines coming from Fred Melamed, who Zoller confirmed would definitely be in the part if it were a film rather than a comic during his recent interview with The Daily Grindhouse. The characters are all well drawn, both in the artistic and the literary senses of the phrase. One of the things I love the most about Zoller's writing is how consistently surprising it is. You can never be sure which characters will live and which will die, or exactly how the story will unfold. And Dr. Venus is no different for the most part, though it is perhaps a bit more straightforward, which is surely attributable to the length, which I'll touch on more shortly. There are some great surprises throughout these pages, and there's not an ounce of fat on these bones. This is a quick moving story that, as far as I was concerned, just got better and better as it went on. The escalation of events is perfectly plotted, and the ending fully sticks to landing. And I am happy to report that Zoller's masterful flair for violence is not toned down one bit in comic form. I mean, hell, the very first image is a pair of rats eating a dog corpse. That is one way to establish the tone of a piece right off the bat. My only real gripe with Dr. Davinus is its length. It's too damn short, which in many ways is really a compliment to the effectiveness of the story, that I wanted more of it. More of these characters, more of this plot, more of this world. At just shy of 100 pages, you could easily get through the whole story in one quick sitting. I purposely spaced my read out over three nights to let each major chunk of the story digest and give me some time to mull it over before continuing. But I will say that it took a not insignificant amount of willpower to put the book down and not motor through it all at once. It's deeply engrossing. Make sure you subscribe to Brickwall Pictures for my upcoming Slanted Gutter review as well as everything else I put out. If you want to support what I do, the best way to do that is by checking out my novel, The Fall of Polite. Available in paperback and on Kindle. And if you have read it, be sure to leave a review on Amazon and Goodreads because I love reading people's thoughts on the book. And it also helps out spreading the word. Thanks for watching. Bye.